everyone. Today we're going to be doing a 360 virtual tour of the Carriage House at O'Hara Mill Homestead near Maydock, Ontario. So we're going to be taking a look around at some of the artifacts and exploring. One of the five original buildings on the O'Hara Homestead, the Carriage House is built of hand-hewn square timbers that date back over 180 years. The Carriage House originally stored the family carriage and wagon in the summer and their sleigh in the winter. Since this building served four generations of O'Hara's, it witnessed the evolution from the horse-drawn carriage to the automobile, which is one of our points of interest, is this oil stain on the floor from the first automobiles. So over here we have a cream separator. In the late 1800s, a Swede, Gustav de Laval, perfected the cream separator. By turning this crank and allowing the milk to flow through a series of spinning discs, the cream came out one spout and the skim milk out the other. The skim milk was fed to calves or pigs. Here we have a winnowing fork, which was used to toss grain in the air to separate the wheat from the chaff or husks. Barrels were used for shipping merchandise and farm produce. Many of them were even waterproof. Apples were a popular crop sent to Balbo. James O'Hara himself is said to have loved apples and had them shipped by the barrel to the homestead. Barrels were made by coopers and was a skilled craft. Over in the corner, we have a sled which was made by the patriarch of the last Mohawk family to live on Moira Lake. Alex Francis, who lived in a cabin on the lake at the end of what is now Pine Point Road, just east of Madoc, was from the Aquasasne Reserve near Cornwall. Here we have a horse collar tool, which was a machine that was used for shaping horse collars, which are made out of leather. This is the most important part of the horse's harness, as all the harness is attached to the collar, and the powerful shoulders of the horse, along with the legs, provides all the pulling power. Over here, we have a grain bushel counter. This grain bushel counter has three smithy fashioned bushel, bushel containers mounted on a turntable. When a bushel was full and moved on the turntable to allow the next bushel to be filled, it was recorded on the counter. This counter could record up to 400 bushels of grain. And that's it for the upper carriage house. Now we're going to move to the lower carriage house. Here we are in the lower carriage house, which is located just below, and you can enter from the one side of the barn. So over on the wall, we have a horseshoe collection. Located here are many horseshoes that have been collected over the years by our volunteers. They demonstrate the many different sizes and level of wear and tear exhibited by the standard horseshoe. As you can see, there's a number of different carriages. This one here is the Democrat, which was simply a buggy, which served as a personal transportation from 1870 onward. It was popular for quick trips between towns and would carry small loads or luggage in the bed. The buggy is completed, completely restored and regularly used for photo shoots and special events here at O'Hara. Next to it, we have the family two-bench bobsleigh. This sled would have been used in the winter for things such as going into town for supplies or to go to church. The small back box would be used to carry supplies. The sleigh would be pulled by a team of two horses and riders would have used blankets on their laps to keep warm. And that concludes our look at the carriage house at O'Hara.